gorgeous night here today in Perth, so time to do a bit of evening exercise. And the fact that I'm exercising made me think, well, now that there's a new version of Oracle on the way, everyone's very excited about 23C, there's obviously a 23C beta out at the moment, and I thought, well, what's the best way? What would I recommend to people if you were on the beta program and wanted to exercise a new beta? So here's the tough thing. Whenever a new product comes out, and I get this, I get a million requests for office hours and three DMs on Twitter saying, you know, what are the cool stuff in 23C? What are the new features, etc.? And don't get me wrong, it's always good to be abreast of everything new that's coming in any upcoming release. But by the same token, if you're on the 23C beta, what I would recommend is not focusing on the new features. Let's face it, you know, I know there's that enticement, like, oh, Boolean's coming, let's go create a tape with Boolean and, and tick that off. But the reality is you won't be creating a lot of new tables with Boolean right off the get-go when 23C production comes out. You'll be upgrading your existing databases to 23C because it's a long-term support release. So in terms of exercising a beta, once you get access to the software, my recommendation is the first thing is try and install it. Install it from scratch, because it's probably the first thing you'll be doing when it comes to doing it for real in your live systems. So make sure the installer works. If your platform's Linux, go through the process of making sure that all the prerequisites are done, etc. Make sure the platforms at your enterprise are supported with 23C. And then if you've survived the installation process, which nowadays is very, very easy, it's generally unzip and done, then it's okay. Let's have a look at upgrading some of our databases. Obviously not the real databases you have, but you take clones of them, put them in a scratch environment, and then fire up auto upgrade. See how the upgrade process works, because that will be logically the next thing you'll be doing when you actually get the production software for real. After auto upgrade, then it's like performance testing, regression testing, functionality testing. I know this sounds boring, I know it sounds like, why can't I just jump in and play with all the cool new features and the new toys and just leave my existing stuff alone? Well, the reality is the value of 23C is going to bring is going to be the stability and upgrade. It's a long-term support release. So you want to get those down, those things down first. And when you're happy with that, then you'd start exploring all the new toys and new goodies. So I'd be making sure my upgrades work, making sure my performance tests work, making sure there's no regressions. Because the kind of things you do along those lines in the beta are effectively a self-documenting mechanism of getting ready to do it for real. Going through those processes, documenting what you did, documenting your findings, good or bad, are the kind of things that are gonna stand you in fantastic stead when you come to do it for real in production. So yes, I know you wanna play with the new stuff, but if you're on the 23C beta, exercise that beta in the same way that you would exercise a genuine production release of software in order to get ready for upgrading. The reality is, if you're on 19C already, at some stage 23C is going to be your next long-term support, the release you'll be on for a long, long time. So you wanna make sure that you've absolutely nutted out exactly how you're gonna tackle the process of upgrading it. And the best way to do that is to get started now while you're playing with the beta software. So enjoy the good stuff, but make sure all the existing old stuff works exactly as you want it and as you've got it documented. Best of luck, enjoy the 23C beta.